Hello everybody, my name is God of Darkness 18 and welcome back to another manga video. This time I'm going to be showing you my monthly manga haul for the month of February 2020. Now, the last month's haul has been pretty crazy. I actually have more likes than I thought it would and I have more interactions. I mean, they didn't comment about the thumbnail, but I'm really impressed with like the feedback I've received, mainly because I picked up B-Stars, so that's probably one of the ways to go at the moment. But anyway, what do you think of my... Super Mario t-shirt I have I got this recently and yep I in a charity shop but bargain so yep uh, I'm really happy about that Super Mario is one of my favorite video game series of all time and this says Mario I would assume because it's in Japanese I think this is in Katakana correct me if I'm wrong but yeah I've got a Mario shirt now and I'm so happy about it I'm getting all the random stuff lately but yeah uh, but yeah, 21 volumes I have collected this month, and yeah, one series I'm actually really happy about, and because uh, despite the high volume count, I've only got four series to show you, so this will be a very short haul, depending on how much I ramble on for, but uh, yeah, super, super excited to show you. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the haul. So the first volume I have here is something I want to continue because it's a relatively new series and I'm pretty happy about it because the first volume was pretty good and I loved it and I hope to continue more volumes as it goes along. Hopefully it doesn't get cancelled prematurely but you never know with these things. But here we go. The first volume I have is The Way of the House Husband Volume 2 by Kosuke Ono or Uno. I think it's Ono. Uh, if I know how to speak Japanese, but uh, yeah, this is like I say a very good series, and basically it follows this guy here. His name is Tatsu, also known as the Immortal Dragon, who is one of the most feared Yakuza members. But now, as he's a house husband, he does lots of things that give you false pretenses into thinking, "Oh no, what's he going to do? Is he going to stab that person? Is he going to you know, try and get rid of that person?" But nope, he just does something else in a house husbandy way, and a lot of people that like see him. I'm like, heh, what are you doing now? And he's always like, I'm a house husband, and then he just laughs at all because they're like, a house husband, but it's funny. But I do love this series. The artwork in this is fantastic as well. I love it. Uh, it may not be as strong as the second one, to be honest, but it is still pretty funny. I mean, it's not like dark comedy or anything like that. It's actually pretty basic humour, but I still find it hilarious. And yeah. I will look forward to getting volume 3 when it comes out. I got this in Waterstones. And yeah, I am really, really happy. I really do like this cover when he's picking up these cabbage, this cabbage. He's like ready to punch someone. It's funny. But yeah, he has a house husband. He does have a wife called Miku. Like Hatsune Miku. And he has a Shiba Inu. I cannot remember the name of uh, uh, it. But uh, yeah. It's still a very good series regardless. And yeah, I really am happy because it's just a fantastic series, even though it's only two volumes long in English. Uh, so this is a recent release because it says inside that the uh, uh, first edition was printed in January. So that's not that far ago. So yeah, this is The Way of the House Husband, volume two by Kosuke Uno, or Uno. Now, this is the series I'm talking about. This is the series I am looking forward to get. Well, I'm so happy I've got because someone on my Instagram always mentions it and I've never really picked it up until I saw it for a bargain on eBay. I have my first eBay purchase that finally got delivered. Not the one I was talking about last month, but it was basically a manga bundle that I picked up and... I was a bit concerned that it wasn't going to turn up, but it did, just a couple of days late. But regardless, I have it, and I'll try and show you all in the shot of the video. This is going to be difficult. I'll give it a shot. Uh, I saw that. Ha! Ah, Sergeant Frog Volumes 1 to 18. I'll show you the first volume. Yeah, I have... Sergeant Frog, I have three, I have all but three volumes of the Tokyo Pop release, and oh my god, I'm so happy I have this. This is known as Kiroro Gunso in Japanese. Uh, I don't really know much about the series apart from reading the blurb, which is apparently uh, 
apparently this frog is obviously sort of a frog and he's like a an alien that um, he's been cut off from his home world and he's lost communications with his uh, platoon and basically now he has to he's been taking he's taking over inside this family's household called the Hinata Hinata family household and <laughs> and basically while he's in the in that place with uh, the Hinata family he's uh, basically trying to uh, well in exchange for like staying there he's trying to like plan world domination but I cannot believe I have it because I first saw it a few a couple of months ago about Christmas time uh, for fifty pounds and then the the price kept on going down and down and down until eventually I, I, I was like there's ten people watching this I might not get this and I really do want to get this and then it, the final final price when I got it it was thirty six pounds so that meant I got this these for two pounds of volume which is pretty standard if I had to get it from like the British Heart Foundation and they put it in like the general book section instead of the like teenage book section but yeah I will show you the volumes individually I have volume one and it actually like spells out not like numbers which is a bit unique to what I'm used to but yeah I've got volume one volume two volume three volume four which is one of the the more damaged ones I, it they did say on the eBay listing but yeah you there's this crease on the full on the on the front cover but regardless still number four number five number six number seven number eight which has one of these beautiful like holographic shiny covers and stuff well holographic yeah number nine number ten number eleven Number 12, another one of those holographic ones. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16, which has a bit of folded pages in this one. Uh, but regardless, it's still there. I still can, still can read it. Number 17, which looks a bit thinner than the, your typical volume, but it's actually about the same length of the, each volume, so that's a bit weird, but hey-ho. And volume 18. Like I say, I have all but three volumes of the Tokyo Pop release. There is about 30 volumes, but I think Viz Media like, published it every single volume just digitally which is a bit of a bummer because so i'll never be able to complete this series unless i take the plunge and go to digital manga but i'm so happy i have this and if you haven't noticed already it's a tokyo pop title and you know i love me some tokyo pop titles because they're so vintage and so great to get hold of regardless of the price as long as it's affordable of course but yeah and i also find something else about this uh Volumes 1 to 16 went for 6 99 which was the typical um, volume for Tokyo Pop before it came back into business. But 17 and 18 are 7 99 So what the hell are they playing at? But regardless, and I should also say this is by Mine Yoshizaki or Mine Yoshizaki. Mine Yoshizaki. And I think Mine Yoshizaki actually has a new... Well, not, well, not a new series, but... Uh, Dragon Quest manga out I think so but yeah I don't know much about Dragon Quest but this will be my priority for now Sergeant Frog and I'm super super excited to get into this it'll be a very good accomplishment to read all 18 volumes and I'm really really happy that I have it in my collection and the spines are in pretty good condition as well so they all have like if you didn't see it properly but I had they all have like the red uh, Tokyo Pop bit at the top so yeah I'm looking forward to reading this so much and it's a comedy so I should be laughing my pants off and I'll be looking forward to getting into it so this is Sergeant Frog volumes 1 to 18 by Mine Yoshizaki next up is one of my favorite video game manga and um, it is a video game manga that I have enjoyed for 
quite some time ever since I discovered the first volume and it's one that my oldest nephew has gotten into as well. I have Splatoon Volume 8 by Sankichi Hinodea. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to explain Splatoon unless you haven't played it. Basically, it follows these kids called Inklings. I say kids, <laughs> um, but you know, they basically are. And uh, they basically engage in turf wars, which basically involve them covering the most uh, uh, ink of their colour in uh, in order to win the battle. <laughs> uh, and it's basically like, um, I can't remember what, what like the sort of thing is, but, but it's so good. I do love it. And yeah, I love how vibrant this is as well with like the blues, yellows, greens and stuff like that. Very nice. I actually do like this in cover. It's very pretty. Uh, and this also finished an arc. I think it's the second arc that they finished or third, uh, probably the second arc, but I don't know. Uh, but it's gone into the, like the third or fourth arc, but probably the third. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited uh, <laughs> about this. And I can't wait for volume nine, which comes out later this year I think it may be May June or something like that but we'll see uh, yeah so I don't really need to explain this and yeah uh, this is Splatoon volume 8 by Sankichi Hinodea and my last volume is something I've got to have a bit of a rant about for Amazon again I I can have as much rants as I want about Amazon. It's <laughs> they really annoy me nowadays. Uh, but uh, regardless, I will show you this because I have it in this part of my collection, and I'll tell you the rant as soon as it shows you. I have here. It's another video game manga, The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess, Volume Six by Akira Himikawa. Now, first off, my first bit of rant is. Why is this volume shorter than the other five I have in my collection, like, right behind me? Because uh, these volumes are about 200 odd pages, give or take a few pages each. This is 160. It's not even finished. <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't know what Akira Himikawa are playing at, but okay, I guess. Uh, but... Regardless, I have it. And second of all, the Amazon rent that they have to have. Basically, I was supposed to receive this on the 6th of February. Then they had that bull crap by saying, Oh, it's not coming until the middle of April or, to, until the, or the, between the bit, middle of March to the middle of April. <sighs> Great. Even though I pre-ordered this in August. And then I get a text from DHL saying that Amazon, how are del they're delivering a package from Amazon that's going to be, uh, that will require a signature. And this was like two days later. Again, what? Why would I need to sign? Why, can I, why can't Amazon just deliver it with Royal Mail like they do here in the UK? And just post it properly instead of making me wait and get a signature from me. I I was hoping this was going to be like kind of like first thing or at least in the morning, early afternoon. However, I didn't get it until half past two on four days later from when I was supposed to get it. Why Amazon? Why are you doing this to me? I'm pretty sure other people have done this, have had this before, but come on, really? It's not fair, but regardless, I still have it. I think this is ending soon because I, I've i read it and I think Akira Himikawa is saying they are wrapping up pretty soon. I sure hope to God they are because I don't understand why, uh, okay, I can understand, I can v sort of understand because it's a longer story, it was a game that was released on the GameCube and the Wii, and it was so much to go through. But they were supposed to finish this at four volumes and there's going to be like seven or eight or maybe even nine volumes of this. So I want this to end soon. I, I mean, the artwork's pretty. I'm, I can't show you because copyright claims and possibility. But regardless, I am. I really do enjoy the art because Akira Himikawa have improved so much since Ocarina of Time. So yeah, 
Uh, so, Legend of Zelda is my favorite video game series of all time. I'm sorry I had to have that rant, but ah, uh, Amazon are really making my blood boil. Uh, I re I can't wait to get the next volume, which doesn't come out until September. My nephew's absolutely devastated about that because I read this a lot to his for his like bedtime night nighttime stories whenever he stays over, or even Splatoon, and he's gonna have to wait until September until Volume Seven is released. Uh, oh well. Regardless, it's a very strong volume, and I cannot wait for the next one. And that is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Volume 6, by Akira Himikawa. I should also have mentioned, by the way, that uh, if you haven't noticed it, uh, Zelda Splatoon and The Way of the Hus Husband are released by Viz Media. But that is it. That is my February manga haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a bit longer than, it took me a bit longer than I expected to do the, this, but... I have to have these rants and obviously I had that, those 18 volumes of Sergeant Frog to show you which I'm super excited of reading but thank you again for watching my videos if you liked it please give it a like if you want to see more manga videos subscribe I'm trying to do some more manga content I don't know which ones I should do maybe another top 10 list I don't actually know but uh, please subscribe I, I am so close to my goal of 250 subscribers and yeah, comment any recommendations you have and I'll see if I can invest in some. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.